Don, we all have your uh, your scrimmages at the end of every practice. Uh, you know, just how instrumental is that, especially when you're coming off a long break, to just kind of knock the rust off and get ready for the next game? Um, I mean, they're they're really important. We we didn't scrimmage a whole lot like last year. Um, this year, I just think we need to jump start how we want to play and what we want to do. Um, and you know, even if it's just for a short period of time, we feel like it. You know, it, it gets the competitive juices flowing a little bit. Um, so we're we're utilizing that a lot more this season. Greg. Yeah, it seemed like you guys kept Purdue off balance, not getting settled into their offensive sets like you were talking about before the game. What allowed you guys to do that? Um, I, I thought we just we worked on just applying pressure, um, full court pressure, because you know Purdue is a team in which if you allow them to just walk the ball up the floor and um, go through all the options of their sets they will tire you out. So we just try to contain it a little bit, speed them up, and, and not let them get settled into their half court. When they did, they, they executed. When they didn't, it was because we, we sped them up or we turned them over or we just made them a little bit more, we were a lot more disruptive to their offense. Don, I heard early in the first quarter, <clears throat> you were saying get the ball down to Kiki, let her be able to get, get down in the paint and let her shoot. You guys had 50 points in the paint today. I mean, was that something that Going into this game, you felt like that was something that would that would help you guys out. Well, I mean, go, go, well, Kiki, Kiki can shoot the ball. Obviously, just she, she's got a nice uh, she's got a nice jump shot. Um, but if you look at her numbers inside the paint, they're staggering. You know, they're seventy percent. So we want to just mix that up and get her closer to the basket at times. Um, we wanted to jump start Aaliyah because um, she didn't really have a great performance in, in, at Temple. So we want to give her some some better looks. She shot a lot of jumpers um, in the first half. So we got her a little bit closer to the basket. And then our guards, they need to penetrate a lot more. We, we've we been working just pushing in transition and um, having, you know, forcing people to, to guard us. Yes. Um, Coach, you talked about Purdue being methodical offensively and, you know, really using the clock. How much more important did it become to keep, to limit uh, second chance opportunities? And how did you feel y'all did tonight on that? Um, I, I thought we were pretty locked in for probably 36 of the 40 minutes. And those four minutes um, that we weren't locked in were like the, the last four minutes of the second quarter. Um, I thought it was, it was really imperative that we utilize our speed, just, just fly around out there a little bit, not allow them to get their feet set um, to score, be, and, and not allow their post players, because they're a, a team in which their post players, they, they post up huge. They give the big targets, and they, they catch you off guard, and they, they're really good with timing. So for us, we just tried to disrupt that timing just a little bit. Um, for most of the game. Obviously, they're a good team and they work on those things and they did burn us a few times with with plays in which they went down low or McLaughlin got her feet set and knocked down threes. But if we allowed them to do that all night long, it would have been a long night for us. Don, you have a pretty dominant uh, offensive performance. You have someone like Lili come out and really give you a lot of great plays. How good does that feel uh, or, or make you feel going forward, especially when Aaliyah didn't start off that great? I mean, it's great. You know, I think we have a team in which, you know, a lot of people can score if you put them in the right situations. I thought tonight we just, we just, we gave Lily the ball at times and she drove, you know, she's got, she's a really good left hand driver. We posted her up. So these are things that we've been working on that hopefully we can steal some buckets throughout some games as we uh, progress through the season. And hopefully this, she can gain some confidence for this, from, from this game. But, uh, Destiny Henderson's been playing great, just really, really, really solid um, on both sides of the basketball. Um, I mean, Zaya got a good one going today, and it's always good to, to get her going, especially she hasn't really shot the ball extremely well. Um, but it was good to see the ball go in for, you know, for some of the players that haven't seen the ball go in consistently. Greg. <clears throat> you talk about getting players in the right position. When you're kind of flying all over the place, or you're talking about trying to play a fast pace, does that kind of favor a players like Zion and Destiny? Um, I, you know, I think for, I mean, Destiny can probably play half court or 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 just in transition. Um, we just don't get enough transition buckets. Um, a, a lot of like at our tempo game, we walk the ball up a whole lot, and that's just really not our tempo. So we have to push the pace. We like to score 30% of our 
of our scoring and transition, 30% in half court, 30% from the free throw line. So we got to, you know, those numbers have been off the last couple of games, so we just got to get back to them. Coach, looking at the stat sheet, really hard to find any weaknesses from the game. Would you say this was your team's most complete game of the season so far? Is there still something you saw that maybe needs to be tweaked with Duke coming around in a couple days? Um, I mean, it feel like the most complete game. Um, I, I felt like we, we executed the game plan, you know, which was to speed them up um, on, on May baskets. We pressed them. Um, you know, I just thought we were locked in defensively. I don't think we executed what we wanted in ball screen defense, but we made up for it with our energy and our, and our effort. Um, I, I like the fact that we had six people in double figures. That's always going to help us down the stretch, and we just got to stay confident. I, I just hope we take care of the ball a little bit better. Don, what's the story of your sweater? Where'd you, where'd you get that one? This one, I've had this one in my closet for a couple of years now. That's a lion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize what it, what it was. I thought it was pretty festive. It's Christmas, it's red, it's green. It's, I didn't see that thing right there. Huh? Huh? No, I'm not that type of, I'm not that type of, maybe shoes, yes, no, yep. Thank you, guys. See y'all.